Now just make sure there's no kids in the room because I'm going to show you something shocking. Are you ready? Here it is. This is an actual spreadsheet I made for a customer about 10 years ago. I know it's shocking. Look at these colors, this bright yellow, this purple pink color. What on earth was I thinking of? But there's better news. I've got some more modern creations in here. This spreadsheet is from a customer project a couple of years ago. The colors looking much better. Just a few colors, clear, distinctive. And this spreadsheet is from a current customer project. Yes, this video is all about color schemes. How can you create a color scheme in Excel that's simple, easy to create, but is also distinctive, leaves your customer, the beneficiary of your spreadsheet thinking, that's really cool. I've been on a journey with this over the past 10 years or so. And over the course of the next 10 minutes, I'm going to teach you the exact method that I use on my projects to create simple and effective color schemes. But if we're meeting for the first time, a big welcome to Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions. I'm Chris Mortimer. It's my mission to take you from spreadsheet frustration to spreadsheet clarity and control. And if you like what we do here at Tiger, we've got a free Excel course for you right here on YouTube. It's called 30 Day Excel Analyst, 30 30 minute sessions to take your Excel to professional level. Well, let's get into the download file. So we're trying to move from a spreadsheet that's a bit confused, too many colors. I would need my sunglasses. I would need my sunglasses to appreciate this spreadsheet to something that's clear, looking professional, just has that wow factor too. How do you do that? Well, it's all about your company or organization logo. You can see mocked up here. I've got the client logo. We're going to use that as the basis for the color scheme. Now, if you're very lucky, you'll have access to the brand identity for your organization, all of the colors and stuff. That's unlikely. I recommend you use an online color picker. This website, I've used Coolors, is it? Go and check out these guys. This is good for color picking, doing what we call color picking. So I can go here, click on a color, and then at the bottom here, I've got access to a color picker. So this is the important icon, whatever software you're using, this is what you need. You can see it's called an eyedropper in this software. And I'm going to go and click on the main color for the organization uh, on this software. I can then lock that color in, make sure that color is locked. And I can then go ahead and generate color schemes. So these color schemes are apparently colors that are complementary to your base color. So you need a base color. I like something like this. I like colors that are similar to that base color, but just slightly different. So something like this I would take. And then we need these all important uh, hex codes. This is called a hex code. We're going to put this into Excel to get us the exact formatting that we want. So that's exactly what I did uh, on my customer projects. And I went ahead and created a brand sheet, what I call a brand sheet. Why do you do this? Because it's going to save you huge amounts of time with formatting later. And you can see, have a bit of fun with the names, give the colors. This this uh, client is a law firm. So we've got Barrister Blue, Gavel Gray, Granada Gold. Granada is somewhere near the, uh, to the customer. And this customer is in eyewear manufacturer, manufacturer, glasses, spectacles, sunglasses. You can see we've got glasses, green, monocle, mint, bifocal, blue. This kind of thing doesn't take long to do. And I find my customers love this kind of thing. It's funny in Excel, sometimes you spend ages working on something, some fancy formally VBA, whatever it might be. And your customer just says, yeah, that's OK. Sometimes you do something very quick, like creating a color scheme, using the online color scheme generator, generating the hex codes, and your client thinks it's the best thing since sliced bread. So this can be a really real value add for your customer. So get those colors stored in the back end with the hex and the RGB codes, and then you're going to go ahead and create a format store. Now, I, I recommend five things, five things in your format store. Firstly, a page title. And you can see we've got the row heights over here. So row height 30 for the page title. I recommend uppercase here. And you can see this font size, something around 26. You can experiment with what works for you. Then you need a subheader. This is row height 20. Then I've got two options for the column header. You can see. Uh, we've got black text on the monocle mint there, and then we've got the green text on the goggle gray. Gray, by the way, I introduce as a kind of generic color. I find it goes with everything and generally looks good in Excel. 
then you need some guidance text as well. So with these five things, set the formatting up so that you can use the formatting very quickly when you need it. We're going to go ahead and actually format one of these spreadsheets now. So let's take this spreadsheet. What if we wanted to recreate the spreadsheet, recreate the formatting? I'm going to go ahead, go to move or copy, move to end. I'm just going to copy the sheet and then I'm going to clear the formatting. So how could you clearly quickly clear the formatting on a spreadsheet, holding down the shift key here, just arrowing across. I'm going to go Alt H E F on the Windows PC. It's going to clear those formats. So your spreadsheet might look something like this, hasn't got any formatting on it there. This is how quickly you can format your spreadsheet, get a good color scheme going um, using this method. So copy from the format store. And I'm then going to go uh, Control Alt and T for formats. And that's it. Our formats are in there. Back to our format store, we want our subheader now. So Control C and then back over to where we're putting the formatting. Control Alt V T. We've got our subtitle in there, but we can do more. We can now repeat the last action with the F4 key and we've got another subtitle, some heading, subheading there. What have we got here? Some guidance text. So back to our format store, it's so fast with a format store, control C, uh, control Alt V and T again. And that we can see our guidance text looking good. It's just like it's transforming before our very eyes here. I love this stuff. Right, control C again and uh, control Alt V T. I'm gonna take this across here, control Alt V T. Once again, I want the same formatting on these two cells. So I'm gonna just hit the F4 key here. Then what about these cells? Well, I'll just use the other uh, header store I've got here, Control C, uh, Control Alt V T. And then once again, we can hit the F4 key. And that's how easy it is to create a spreadsheet with a compelling color scheme that looks professional that you can do quickly. I find my customers love this kind of thing. Let me know, guys, what do you want to see on the channel? Let me know in the comments below how you're getting on with these color schemes. The next video to watch is right here. I'll see you there.